is July 20th, 1962. And so King uh, wrote this keynote address to, um, a, a, you know, to present uh, Jackie Robinson to these 800 plus people at the Waldorf Astoria uh, on the occasion again of him being inducted into the Hall of Fame. So um, it's a very interesting um, uh, address in that he accounts for the changes taking place in the nation, uh, his uh, his uh, push in Albany, Georgia, to integrate the society, and and how he uh, is is serious about the changes that need to take place. This is something that he mentions in the first few pages of, of the document. What I find uh, it, it really important about the document is the discussion about Jackie Robinson's mother. Uh, and, and this is, again, research that people really have neglected as it relates to, you know, how does Robinson learn about integrating society? What examples, uh, you know, what examples do, does he have? What, you know, and so the idea that that uh, King himself acknowledges Maylee Robinson, Jackie Robinson's mother, her contribution is something I think is really important. Uh, that, that's an important part of this document. Okay, so this is out of, uh, this is the letter here. And so it says, uh, it seems particularly fitting that the latest battle in the Holy War for Freedom has its locale in the state of Georgia. Jackie Robinson was born in that state and uh, the indomitable spirit, which is characteristic of heroic Negro women of the South, is the same stripe of courage and integrity which marks Maylee Robinson, Jackie's mother, who sits with us tonight. We're certain that the mother of our guest of honor is content in the realization that the vision she cherished was not nursed in vain. It was the vision of a woman who, without help, had to bring a family out of the bleak shadows of the sharecropper's life into the sunlight of new opportunity in the far west. This is Jackie Robinson's night, but he himself will be the first to tell you that you cannot declare a night in his honor without also honoring the two women who have been his inspiration and his strength, Maylee Robinson, his wonderful God-fearing mother, and Rachel Robinson, his wife, companion, his solace and full partner in moments of despair as well as moments of triumph. So again, this is such a uh, you know, powerful testimony to you know, him not doing it on his own, but, but Robinson being groomed within the context of the early 20th century by his mother, who is sharing, you know, this um, formula to, you know, not just being successful, but for identifying yourself as being a human being deserving of the rights of full citizenship, which I think is amazing. And, uh, you know, so, so this is just one part of, of this, you know, these documents that, you know, I would even have students do more research on. In what way was she an inspiration? You know, how did she demonstrate, uh, you know, this way in which to win people over? You know, is it through her kindness? Did she demonstrate on the block how you uh, convince people of your humanity? What was her um, formula? What was her technique? That brings up another question too, the role of women within black communities. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's this new history is uncovering the fact that, you know, black women represented these outsiders within. There were the domestics who worked in white communities who traversed those lines of discrimination and brought back information to their families. So similar to Jackie Robinson and his mother Maylee, you have Ralph Ellison's mother who worked as a domestic who brought information from outside their community into the community. So these, these mothers, these women, uh, these contributors to this community were bringing much, much more to the community besides their ability to earn an income. They were bringing this knowledge that could and did inspire uh, the next generation to continue to fight uh, for their rights. And Robinson is just one example. Uh, you know, I would say that you know, a Joe Lewis does the same thing in the 1920s when his family moves to Detroit, along with Jesse Owens, same thing in Cleveland. So, but these are the, the people we've identified as being significant because of their accomplishments. What about those that we don't know about that have also contributed greatly to you know, increasing the opportunities for not just African Americans, but for all people who've been marginalized.